Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Eva from Bohemian Crafting and today I'm coming to share with you a little bit different type of craft. And this um, 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 this craft I'm taking when I'm kind of like overloaded by making a books. While ago I wanted to do my art journal. So I took one old book and I started by uh, to be inspired by... Uh, Marta from Marami Small Art or f by Vicky from Vicky Papa, you know, uh, I'm, I'm probably saying her surname wrong, so I'm very sorry for that. I will put links down below for all those amazing mixed media artists I'm inspired by. And I started to do a few layers, but then I literally gave up because... I think I was uh, like a little bit scared that there is so many pages and what if I will don't have any idea that will makes me so sad that will makes me like disappointed from myself that I still have look <laughs> this book and I don't have any idea so I started to do art journal my way it's totally different and it makes me satisfied because every time I feel like I finished one mini small book. These are my art journals. And all these mini art journals, or more I can say booklets, are holding just one art page. And it makes me so happy. It does have also pockets, which is something what I totally love to do. So it has pocket here at the front. It has one pocket here maybe for some notes and it also has my art my art page uh, where i am trying to create something beautiful and nice and of course uh, as a package i'm using envelopes if you know my channel you know that i do love to create from envelopes so this way i'm creating my art journal pages and i have to tell you I am enjoying it so, so much. It's so much fun. Uh, I started to use also kind of like funny, um, funny quotes, so, which I found. <laughs> That's why I am enjoying it very much. I will have, uh, I do have a new website, uh, buy me a coffee. You don't have to buy me a coffee, by the way. But on that website will be here and there some uh free downloads of images I am using here in those art journals so I will put link for that uh, buy me a coffee website down below for those who wanna have a look what kind of images I already have there uh, if you wanna create your art journal and I really have to tell you that this is something very satisfying for me I'm always uh, I am always having finished finished project so if I will ever, never ever have any idea for art journaling ever again, I will be not sad, you know, I will be not disappointed from myself that where is my creativity? I hope you know what I mean by that. Look at this. <laughs> I really love this one. Here I use, by the way, purple color, which uh, I feel kind of like uncomfortable with purple col color. But here I really love that. I'm, I'm so happy of this page. And that quote from Plato, it's just beautiful. I created also my small galaxy. I do have uh, videos for, I think, these three. One, two, three for these three pages. I'm not sure about the rest. I think I don't have the rest. But these three pages, they will be like tutorial or sharing, um, process sharing, not tutorial. I'm not that skilled with creating art journals. But uh, this way, uh, I'm feeling so happy to create my mini art booklets. Uh, I'm using my colors, my pencils, my uh, acrylic paints, which I haven't used for ages. And that is important that I'm starting to use stamps, stencils, everything I bought through the years in those mini journals. So for all those who wanted to start the art journal but maybe you wasn't ready to go for a full book maybe this just one small booklet will be maybe good idea for you too 
So today I would like to share with you what I did. It's I hope it will be easy, that it will be not too complicated. I'm always using one sheet of cardstock. It's always A4 size, but you can use any any sheet of paper you want that it should fit to some envelope which you will prepare for your art art page. So I'm using DL envelope with a window because I would like to have that window on the top of my booklet. So I'm using DL envelope, A4 size sheet of uh, paper. And I am always preparing my booklet the uh, same way. So first uh, I'm taking my sheet or cardstock and I'm making a mark a little bit smaller. Here I'm keeping a gap and here I'm marking a little bit smaller than is my envelope. Then I'm cutting my sheet. This bigger piece I just fold it half and that smaller piece I took my scissors I folded those two corners together and cut the edges to create kind of like a envelope flap so very simple way I cut the corners to create like envelope flap then the envelope itself taking my envelope cutting those sides so I will have one large piece before I will move to, to create something on my sheet and on my envelope uh, I'm gluing this uh, flap of my envelope here on that envelope <laughs> oh my explanations start to be very creative right <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> uh, from the fold or from the bottom of my envelope I'm making mark three and three quarter of inch and I forgot to tell you measurement of my envelope just bear with me three and three quarter three and three quarter go there just draw a line and my envelope size it's Four and I would say three eighths by I think it was eight and half eight and I cut it a little bit eight and five eighths I would say it was when before I cut those corners the uh, those edges so once I do have that line here I'm taking my new flap of my envelope on a few of my booklets I took this Zutter machine, it's a wonderful uh, bind it all machine, it's using for binding pages together and creating journals, but I am using it also as a paper punch, because it is actually paper punch, and it makes beautiful, very decorative uh, holes, so that's why I am using it, I like that look, and now here, like this so now I'm gonna apply the glue here on the spot behind that uh, line I draw so I'm gonna apply a glue in there and glue my new flap right here It will be a little bit smaller than is my envelope but because I'm always backing my booklets with black paper all over that's totally okay it's kind of invisible that uh, and I'm coloring always my booklets so it's kind of invisible that there is a gap uh, on each side here 
so this is my preparation of that base and also yeah here because I do have that folded sticky strip on my envelope it's mostly you know you have to fold it up and then this one it's sticky as well so just clip it down but because I do have here that folded flap I'm just secure those sides with a glue fold it up and I am also folding these edges down and that's all basic preparation on on my booklets I did on each of them exactly same way and then just the creative process I'm gonna also take here my envelope punch board and I'm gonna punch those corners to make my art page a little bit more beautiful I think those uh, those rounded corners are kind of like more friendly <laughs> At least I feel that way, so <laughs> that's why. <laughs> so I do have prepared my booklet. I do have prepared my uh, art page. And I, I was thinking, because I showed you a few of these booklets, there will be those videos. I'm not going to say tutorials, because it's definitely not tutorial. <laughs> I've got here this beautiful vintage phone. And I do have here, <laughs> this is so cute quote reality called so i hung up <laughs> and i really love that quote it's so cute so i was thinking i'm gonna create something with this today so for my building background uh, i've got here this studio light stencil uh, here we've got the number but i will also write the number in the description box below i've got here tim holtz stamps because i love them uh, I've got here glitch, number one and number two stamps, and I've got here those amazing feathered types. These are so gorgeous. So I'm gonna choose, uh, choose, use, <laughs> use some of these. Um, first, I'm gonna stamp, yeah, and uh, I've got here a uh, tea dye color, and I will also take black ink normal black ink which doesn't react with water and I would like to try this one this is a little bit dusty <laughs> this is spectrum noir uh, it's water reactive dye and uh, it should react same way like uh, does distress ink from tim holt so i want i want to try and this is a smoked pearl it's kind of like gray mixed with brown it's it's very very wonderful color it's like this one here i'm not sure this one here it's kind of like gray brownish or i'm not sure how to dis describe here they show brown but it's more like a gray brown so we're gonna start to do something I think for back stamping background stamping I'm gonna choose these um, I guess these because I love them these are my favorite my total favorite from this stamp collection so I'm gonna stamp here and there on my paper and also on the envelope I will try to do some light stamping I'm gonna move this and some hopefully yeah just like easy stamping here and there and everywhere okay mm dokie and I'm gonna kind of like clean my stamp here and probably here yeah it's nice and clean I'm gonna take this one and for that I'm gonna take different color you've got here this um, red one uh, it's like dark red nearly burgundy color and because communication 
uh, the telephone and the reality and in real my most favorite most favorite combination of colors it's black that vintage like coffee tea brown kind of like something between ivory and you know uh, ivory and coffee that beautiful brown color so i'm gonna try to mix it here some some kind of color combination you you are able to see on uh, graphic 45 the communication <laughs> collection that is actually going to my mind right now i think it's the most beautiful scrapbooking collection in the world <laughs> that communication it's so gorgeous and this one will be here so i guess so very light stamping with this it's like burgundy and i'm gonna clean my stamp here and probably here yeah very light stamping with this so i do have stamped my backgrounds for the next part i've got here this tea dyed distress ink and i'm gonna just make my spa i'm gonna spray it with clear water and dip my paper into it and i'm gonna do some beautiful coloring and i think i'm gonna do a little bit more and color my envelope yeah i think there is a lot of color now <laughs> it's wet enough I'm gonna let it dry and we will continue and because i want to use heating tool and uh, dry my papers quite quickly i'm gonna give it a try and take this acetate piece very carefully off from my envelope it shouldn't make any silly mistakes because the paper it's wet so it should go well if i will be careful enough other way other way i will rip it off that's what was happened many times before so i know i have to be very careful but i can take off that acetate i'm gonna save that acetate because later once i have done my envelope i'm gonna glue it back oh oh stay good so now i can use my heating tool and i can dry envelope and also that paper so both my papers are dry and i do have here a few uh, alphabetical uh, stamps so i think i'm gonna stamp also some words because the reality what is the reality now especially about communication when we have here that telephone it's tiktok instagram <laughs> people stop communicate normal way face to face so first i'm gonna try to use this like written one and i know if i will place it the right way i can actually create like a written word but i am very terrible with stamping so i'm not sure how that will go but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try somewhere here on the bottom <laughs> so if i will be not successful I can always use some washi tape and cover it with washi tape or masking tape, you know, to do something. So I'm gonna give it a try and write down communication. You yeah, well, my <laughs> my stamping and here <laughs> it's kind of not not straight. But I don't mind. So I'm gonna take my glitch stamps 
and with vintage photo just tone in tone I'm gonna do some soft stamping in the background just the tone in tone I don't wanna overload it because I wanna use also my stencil and do small texture in there and I hope in the end it will look gorgeous so I'm gonna do just very soft texture on my paper here this one yeah and of course I need to do something on my envelope as well And I'm gonna take this stencil and try to do some stenciling where I think it will look good. paper as well so both of my pieces are dry and I forgot to switch off uh, switch on my camera when I used uh, tea dye distress ink and my brush and I kind of distress heavily that stenciling all around here i used also a little bit of that red of that of this dark red color just here on that side to put there a little bit more color and now uh, i have prepared i've got here this beautiful this beautiful uh, those beautiful dyes <laughs> from elizabeth craft craft designs these are planners essentials dies and here is a number if my camera will zoom here is my number uh, not my number here is the number <laughs> here is the number of these dies and i use this telephone uh dial dialing circle and that telephone inside and i did cut out from black cardstock and also from white cardstock and then i distress it uh, this way then I, or not distress it, color it with that dark red ink. So I do have three, uh, those dial, dial, dials, uh, circles in black and two in red. And I also do have these small telephones. I love them very much. They look so cute. And because this was looks, this did look quite empty you know just with foam it was quite empty so I'm planning to place them here but before I will do so I would like to have something in those areas here so I'm gonna take my tea dyed papers I think one sheet will be enough I'm gonna take one tea dyed paper I'm gonna draw five of these circles. I'm gonna draw inside and outside and also those uh, these small circles and in those small small circles I'm gonna stamp some words with my small stamps and then I will back with those papers my those die cuts and I will come back to show you what I have created so this way I will draw five of them for each of these dials and I will come back once I do have stamped in there something so I have stamped my dials and I stamped their words I think they are all for most of us reality we want 
we want a love, we want a happiness, happy, happiness, we want a peace in mind or, well, of course, in the world. We all, I guess, want to have stability and we want to have hope for a better future, especially now with the world, what is happening. So I stamp these words and I, I'm going to fix them somehow here, but for me, those edges are not... Uh, too much bright and uh, by the way I stamp it with those small stamps from Stampendos it's very cute small stamps I'm gonna put all names in the description box so I've got here this stamp collection now I think I lost the top no wait there it just fell out uh, I've got here this uh, stamping collection from uh, Studio Light again and this is um, this one. I'm gonna write it down as well. So I'm gonna use this uh, stamp. It's kind of remind me those international envelopes with that red and blue striping. But I'm gonna use just black ink, and I'm gonna stamp all over of my page to do kind of a little bit dramatic edge. So I do have my stamping <laughs> and with black marker I'm gonna um, color the edge of my telephone I'm gonna a little bit you know this uh, kind of like distress or color all that white edge because I don't want to see it there it looks much better when that white edge is colored so all that image, it's working much better with the background. So I do have prepared my images and I think it looks much better now with that, you know, black edge. So I'm going to try to place them on my paper. I'm going to use for gluing here just normal glue, normal glue stick. But so I'm going to first glue this black pieces here and then on it yeah I think here to make sure I can read it this way yes okay so first those three black pieces black dials I think somewhere okie dokie and now the red dials or these pieces this way and I do have here also my beautiful phone and those small mini phone apparatus I'm gonna place I guess here on the bottom like decoration or I'm gonna keep them on the end I will see not now, uh, right now, because this uh, telephone, when is it in a reel, it has the rope from this this thingy, this end to this, uh, this stand. So I'm gonna take some, I think I'm gonna take this one and take my poking tool and that phone is, uh, that uh, rope or the wire it's usually here in that apparatus so I'm gonna put that rope through and then glue it here on the top using my glue I'm gonna secure it with masking tape here And here I'm gonna make some kind of, you know, that layer, like that rope can looks like. I think I will try. Oh, I should go here. Okay, I will have to somehow fold it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take. The needle so I do have on one end 
of that uh, string, the needle. Now I'm going to place that string on my glue here. I meant it to wrap it this way to do small hook or you know usually those ropes are too curly okay on my glue on my glue and here because I forgot so I'm gonna go behind the telephone I'm just gonna poke the hole here and go there with my string behind go back go back and I will go out from here so I'm gonna poke the hole where from I wanna pull that string again and it's right here oops so it will looks like that rope it's laying behind the telephone it's kind of like wrapping the telephone all around and here I'm gonna put a little bit of glue and back to apparatus I'm gonna lay down and here I'm gonna go again through to the paper and I will secure it from back side with a masking tape. I'm gonna let it dry here. Here I'm gonna secure it with masking tape. So I do have that base done and I'm gonna uh, glue my quote on my page. Here and that other half there. And I'm gonna use this small telephones, telephone apparatus. Just let them flying here and there. Oh, or on my <laughs> fingers. Yeah, here I said here and there, okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful, amazing thingy. It's Bindex, it's acrylic binder. And you will see that in those next videos that I am using this Bindex all the time. It's for sealing everything. It's also perfect when you want to do some shading, which I would like to do now. So first, before I will do my shading, I'm going to use this Bindex and some brush. And with a brush, I'm going to wipe a wipe. I'm gonna make top coat and I have to be a little bit more fast because I used Distress Ink and Distress Ink react with any kind of liquids so I have to be very fast here and I used also this ah this black ink I will have to swap my black ink okay this one is reacting as well not good way So I did my top coat using that uh, bindex. I will put link down below as well. Uh, it's wor it works uh, for acrylic paints that you can mix them together and make better painting. And it also works really beautifully like top coat. And uh, right now I do appreciate that top coat because I want to do some shading and I want to have that ability if I will be not successful and I want to wipe out something this helping me so for shading i can use those oil pastels and it works like a magic so if i will take that 
oil pastel and I will wipe it around and I will don't like it. I'm gonna take wet wipe, I will find any and I can just wipe it off and it's done. So I'm gonna work my way up all around of all images I do have here and I will do my shadows and shades so very carefully step by step I'm gonna make my shadows and also under my quote or around my quote And if there will be too much, I'm going to just manage that with that wet wipe. So I do have my shadows. <laughs> that was lots of wiping and my hand was pretty much all black from that. But I, I'm happy with this and I think I'm going to take my uh, gel marker. This is beautiful white gel marker. I will put link down below as well for those who want to have a look. And I'm just going to draw some lines. And maybe around. Some small doodling. Okay, I think this is enough. I'm not gonna overload it. And, and now to my holder. For that, I'm gonna take just simple black paper. This is a piece of wrapping paper. So any kind of paper you will like. And the base, uh, I'm taking my envelope and here I would like to have that pocket. So here I'm not gonna place any glue here between this fold and this fold and I would like to have that pocket probably that deep so I guess this space I would like to keep clean without glue but that rest I'm gonna use my glue stick and on that rest I'm gonna put pretty much nice amount of glue Now with my scissors I'm gonna cut that paper around and I will try to keep about one eighth of inch um, kind of like frame around. I think about this this size of frame all around so it looks like this. I can add also some sewing all around. So I will start here. Where is the pocket? I'm not gonna sew. So I will start here. I will go all around till here and here I can go down. From black cardstock I have cut it two one inch circles with a hole in the middle and I'm gonna fix my closure. So I'm gonna fold Fold my cover. Where is that another one? Here. Fold the cover. Close it. I'm gonna take one circle and make a position where I would like to see it. I think one here and another here. 
and I'm gonna draw a point and punch the holes so one here and another one right here I'm gonna punch the holes and fix those circles so first I'm gonna fix the circle on the pocket not on the flap first on the pocket without the string and then on the flap I'm gonna slide that the string then fix the circle with the eyelet And fix it and I'm gonna a little bit smush it down here that short leftover from string I'm gonna cut off and now it's time to take my creation I'm gonna fold it half it will be placed somewhere here so I'm gonna have a look yeah I think I can leave it this way I'm gonna distress it a little bit with vintage not vintage with that tea dye distress ink to make sure it's kind of matching all together just that, that visible edge will be much better so I'm gonna put a glue on all this side which will be glued here to the background so I'm gonna place my paper in the middle and fold this over and press it together to make sure it will be nicely glued to the background then I'm gonna put the glue here here and here and fold this over it and by that I have created pocket here I can fold this one and close my pocket and my mini journal or art journal art booklet <laughs> one page art journal <laughs> I don't know how to call it but it's all done and it's finished and it looks like this and I have to say I really like this combination of these colors it's one of my favorites all the time so this is my sharing for today a uh, few of these other pages they will be in next days I think I'm gonna upload them always at Monday so it will be like art booklet <laughs> art journal art journal Monday from me because I really like that and I think it's very important that sometimes we are swapping the field of of the creativity I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you know, the, the, the thing we create, if we want to clean our, our brain or if we want to catch up with new inspiration or something, um, you know, we would like to do. So sometimes it's really good to swap the things we do. So this is my sharing for today. I really hope you did enjoy it. I hope you had a good time. Uh, if you are like me and the proper art journal with many pages is not for you and you will feel more comfortable 
just with short period uh, of creating something and then it's done i don't have to touch it anymore and it's done i can give it to somebody if i will want so with the note here so for me it's done and it makes me so satisfied that yay i made it done and now it can be moved on to somebody else maybe you know to make somebody else happy to show to somebody else my appreciation or something you know so for me this is the right type of art journals mini journals i want to create and if you are like me and you got inspired i'm so happy by that so thank you so much for visiting me today thank you so much for spending your time with me have a wonderful day take care about yourself and i will see you soon bye